I hear you. I appreciate your call, Nick. Listing on 1340 KOMY. Um, appreciate it. We don't screen your calls, folks, so welcome to the show. Uh, let's talk to Robert in Arkansas. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. Uh, Long-time listener and second-time caller. You had asked earlier about what we could use as a unifying symbol for unity, and uh, I want to announce Operation Take Back, where every American that is awake should be showing a flag in front of their home or business as a sign that the Constitution is the United is the ultimate law of the land. And if you are awake, we should have our uh, turn your porch light on and go around your neighborhood, see who's awake, who isn't awake. What we need to do is we need to be talking to our neighbors and those that are not awake yet, we need to wake them up. We need to get out there and we need to take neighborhood by neighborhood, city by city. Total genius. I agree with you. We need to canvas our neighborhoods, identify who's awake, then organize to then try to wake the others up and their strength in numbers. Your neighbors are ready to wake up. People are ready for freedom. You've just got to set the brush fires in your area. Absolutely great idea. Thank you, Robert. Let's talk to Jerry in Georgia. Then we're going to El Salvador and Thailand. Jerry in Georgia, you're on the air. Thank you, Alex. What I want everybody to do is just Google these words, radioactive plume, South Carolina. Since January, there's been a tritium leak into the water system. You'll find dozens and dozens of little local news articles about it, but nothing national and nothing about the, the journalists don't go, they don't test it, but the DHEC, you've got articles where they admit there is a, is a leak from, from the Barnwell uh, dump facility into the groundwater. And nobody. And again, that's a, a, a tritium link. That's not too healthy. Of course, Ann Coulter says it's good for you, so maybe maybe she can wave her magic wand and and, and it'll save us. Uh, but uh, say that again. What do you search? Because I hadn't heard about that leak. Radiation, radioactive plume, South Carolina. Radioactive plume, South Carolina. Guys, search engine that. We'll put it up even during the next caller. Thank you, sir. That's why we're taking a lot of calls. See a lot of interesting stuff comes out. Uh, let's talk to Chris in Florida. You're on the air. Go ahead. Alex, could you please do a show with the founder of Ithaca Hours, Paul Glover, and if you want to put me on hold, I'd gladly give you the uh, contact information. Another great uh, guest would be Wayne Walson, who's been instrumental in uh, several community currencies around the country, including Mountain Hours, at mtnhours.com, and uh, that's a great way to stimulate local economies and keep the currency local. I'm all about local currencies, uh, especially ones that aren't even digital because they can't track them. And then it's all about goodwill and what's trusted. And I'm all about local barter. Go ahead. Uh, yes, and uh, if you, like I said, put me on hold, I'll give you all their contact information. Uh, PaulGlover.org is uh, one of his sites, uh, and uh, he's running for governor. Uh, I'll tell you what, do this, do this. It's hard to just give me all the info on air. Email it to us, folks. We get a lot of guest ideas that way. Show tips at InfoWars.com. Thank you, Chris. Let's talk to Edward in El Salvador. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Uh, I actually just wanted to talk about the Malaysian uh, flight that's been missing for a few days. Um, it's just kind of, it's been saying to me that the American people and anybody else who's been keeping up with this story can actually believe that it's missing. That I mean, how, how do you lose a plane with however many people, 239 people on board with all cell phones? You know, supposedly they track cell phones and they can figure out where people are and look at you through your camera. And they can't find a whole bunch of people, supposedly three Americans on board. I mean, it's just like, what is, what exactly? It does is sound like a giant stunt to distract us from the stuff happening in Ukraine and other areas. And uh, and that's another thing. And uh, and in Ukraine, I mean, what, is this the beginning of World War Three with Russia and Ukraine? And it's definitely the I mean, beginning what, of a new Cold what, War, brother. I appreciate your call. We're moving quick. Thanks for the call from El Salvador. Ben in Missouri. I know we're going to go to you in a minute. Actually, the next caller is Barry in Thailand. Maybe it's Barack Obama from Thailand. Go ahead. You're on the air. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot for that. Um, hey, just want to give you a show tip. Um, I don't know if you're aware of this. I'm an options trader, and I pay attention to these things. But uh, George Soros had taken out a uh, large put option position on the S&P right before things really broke down in the Ukraine, which, you know, I know from you that he was funding the protests there. So he would have profited hugely 
when he sold that position, when it took a nosedive um, after the unrest kind of reached a crescendo there. So it's kind of a 9-11 uh, put option scandal that I think you guys should look into. Very interesting. Uh, again, let me write that down. I'll have the reporters look into it. What was this? He put a put option in against the S&P? Yeah, it, there's. Yeah, there's a uh, there's an article in Market Watch that says Soros doubles a bearish bet on S and P to the tune of 1.3 billion, and if uh, you know put option position that you know is worth sure, and then he goes billion. in and he destabilizes the country. Uh, that's what he constantly does. I mean, I know he's in there market rigging. I know he's in there saying this may bring down Europe, which he's betting against right now. He just is an absolute monstrous little pig. He would have made zillions on that. So you guys ought to look into that. Um, but other than that, from Bangkok, it's like it's really weird here. Um, I'm about ready to leave, I think. But uh, the cancer wards here in the hospitals are filled with children that are being poisoned by the additives in the food. And um, well, Barry, yeah. there are too many people, so we got to kill all the children, folks. Take your shots. The establishment agenda. So all the trendies out there think it's cool. You're not going to get any more roles, and most of them sell out, folks. Well, we're not going to have any future if people don't start more and more going public coming out. And that's starting to happen where the system's not going to be able to maintain control. But don't be selfish if you're a Bruce Willis, who I know is awake, or others, and not speak out. Because we're going to lose everything if you don't do it. Speak out against the whole system. Pick an issue. Fluoride. Second Amendment. World governance. Eugenics. The cancer epidemic, which they're designing on record. None of you are going to be protected. None of you are safe. This is an artificial system that's been built to make us artificially feel safe so they can incrementally social engineer us. You're living in a science fiction movie, folks. You're living in a proto-matrix. What are you going to do about it? I can put messages in bottles all day and send them out. You can send this video out to people. But you need to become a leader as well. And I speak to those that are in the establishment because you're just... In the same boat as us, regardless. Let's continue with phone calls ahead of Mr. Dent joining us. Let's go ahead and talk to John in Michigan on the Ukraine. Go ahead. Hey, Alex, what's up? Worldwide um, transmission. Say, mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, right on. I just want to say uh, this whole Ukraine thing, it, it's part of the captive nations operation that Eisenhower instated. You know, it's, so it's been like 50 something years of this uh, whole like Cold War, so to say. But um, I just want to like uh, state this quote from Stalin. America is like a healthy body, and its resistance is threefold. It's patriotism, it's morality, it's spiritual life. If we can undermine these three areas, America will collapse from within. Joseph Stalin. He did say that, and they've done that to us. But again, the globalists were doing it here without the Russians' help. Anything else? No, that's, I just wanted to bring that to light, that it's been going on for 53 years years you know it's, it's 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 not nothing new it's you know the whole uh keegan you know it's related to new and uh, the husband he's part of the you know the whole uh, new, new american century doctrine you know and it's the same thing as the you know captive nation well the doctrine. new american century the pnac people are the trotskyites on record literal uh russian group communist group that got kicked out by stalin i mean that's why the neocons and obama work together it is a disgusting group of people I appreciate your call. Great points, John. Ben in Missouri, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, terrorist. How's it going? I'm I'm good. I am for the Second Amendment. I'm a bad person and racist as you well. You really are. Yeah. Well, I heard I heard you talking about LeBron James like that. That was extremely racist. I'm really offended that you would say something about somebody who's so good at putting a basket through a hoop and jumping up and down and all those other kinds of things. So I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I can listen to you anymore. Um, but uh, the reason why I called was because uh, my mom and dad, mom took a job with Loving Big Pharma over in Switzerland. They live in Basel. Now they have a festival called Fasnacht. Uh, I'm probably saying it wrong, but it's basically like a Mardi Gras type festival in Switzerland. And they have uh, parades and everything else. And they have different cliques is what they're called that have, uh, they cover a certain, certain theme. I got to hear about this. We're going to finish your call, take a few more. Then we got our guest coming up, third hour. Third hour coming up, Infowars.com. Real Alex Jones on Twitter. This is GPS, Follow us today. Genesis Communication. Like us on Devil Book. 
Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex.